I'm just finishing up on this job. I formed it, it's a half circle, and then I did a float finish. So I'm gonna go through the motions and show you how I did it. So here we go. Well, today I'm gonna put a concrete sidewalk in. I'm just gonna walk you through the steps that when I come on a job, what I look for and what I do to do this. Now they already showed me where to start. I'm gonna start right here. They left a little form against the blacktop and then they want a half circle. And I'm gonna get rid of that step back there because it's too low. I wanna go higher than the driveway. I wanna make sure the water goes away from it and the water comes away from the house. Also the rain gutters over there, the pipe has to go underneath the sidewalk. And if they ever put electricity through, I wanna leave, leave another little pipe so they can put the electricity through. So I know from experience, uh, I talked to the owner, but I didn't talk to the wife, that the first thing I'm gonna do is lay it out dry and let them look at it, make sure they're absolutely happy with the way it's gonna look before it goes in. So that's the first step. Now what I did was, when you do a circle or an arch, put a line up. So I put my line over here, like this. And I came over here, and tied a little knot. So you put some marking things. change it fine but I'm doing it before I form it so that's what I want to do it's just a preliminary type of thing then I know everybody's happy as I go so what happened is we took the step out and right here look at this they put this on these bars on to hold the step up so that's good for us and there's the rain gutter and it's coming through so he's gonna put the leads right under the sidewalk so there's no problem there Put two in for rain gutters, and this is if they ever wanted to put a, a water line or a electrical line through it. So I always do that. Now I'm going to explain what I'm doing. This is a piece of a wand, and I just cut it in strips. This is another board. What I'm doing is I'm putting the two of them together, just like that. And I put it right down here, and I put a line to it. Then I just pick it up and take it over. And I put my forms in. If I don't do that, I'm never going to have the same swell. So you always put them together like that. So you get a line like this, and you line this up just like that. And then you know you're straight. Right here. Here's what I'm doing. I got my circle in. I got this line with a knot in it. That tells me where I should be with this form. I use wooden stakes and I just pound it in. Check it. Then I put a screw in it, and I keep going to get my radius. Right. Well, before I hammer everything in, I want all the water to come down and that way. So I'm checking all my forms to make sure that that's what's going to happen. Okay, I'm going to show you the job as far as we're going. Look at all the all these I put in. I put in a lot of them. You say, Mike, why don't you use steel forms? Well, you could. There's no problem with that. I'll explain that at the end. Over here, see these metal things? They were holding the step up. They were bolted into the foundation. So I was going to put holes in there and put rebar, but now I'm not going to do that. in
couple wires in. cement all these uh, things in place when the concrete truck comes. Back in the forms up with some top soil that's got to go there anyway. All ready to pour it. I backed the forms up uh, with some top soil which they're going to do anyway. Just want to make this point. I don't want the concrete touching anything. That's from them steel things. I want the concrete to float. Truck arrived about 20 minutes ago. And this, I'm gonna give it a this two on that. And the bolt flowed out. Well, if you're a little low on spots, a little concrete in there like that. You can usually see when you're low. I get the big trowel this now it's uh, 12 o'clock which is a half hour later see that you scrape that stuff up you got a low spot you take it off the high spot you scrape it up and everything matches Use your edger, they call it, and you get little holes in there. Just scrape some up, put it down, and glide your edger on top. And here's my street key right there. I go with my street key right even, so you don't have to be measuring anything. It's already done. Let me put this in. That. And I run my finger across the top to get the edge off and do it again. It's at the perfect height. You cement it in, no problem. Then continue on here with my edger. I got a hole, fill it in with the stuff. See that? And get all the concrete even. That's what we're doing right now, getting everything even. We've got to go over it again. Make sure we're even. Concrete's setting fast today because the wind's blowing and the sun's on it and the air's cold. The air is about, uh, about 50 degrees out the air, but the sun is hot and the wind blows, so the top's going to go before the bottom. If that makes any sense. Sometimes you get hot, so you got to keep going on it. That. Don't get anything on the driveway. It's a little barrier, a little something where the concrete could slide up and down. Take the plastic off. And I know where I am here. See that? Put my thing in here again. Twelve thirty right now. This concrete is going fast. I don't play with concrete. I make sure that I'm ahead of it. Cause it could get away on me. So that's where I'm at now. Okay. I wait another 15 minutes, it might be too late. Because the sun's out, 
wind is blowing. So the top is drying, the bottom is staying wet. So it's, it's mushy like, you know. But you better get on it soon. But you don't want to lose it. That's what I'm doing. I'm on it a little bit sooner. I don't want to take no chances. It's, see? It's, it's hard. It's getting hard already. It's good, huh? Thank you. It didn't take long. Yep. Oh, that's it. If I waited any longer, it didn't start in that time. Yeah, yeah. yeah that doesn't take long. People leave them marks in there, but my cousin is a swimming pool guy, and he don't do that. He has a different opinion about that. So I stopped doing it too. Robin, no sandwiches are here. Yeah, I'm gonna... That's it. It's hard already. That's it. A little hard on top, and a little soft on the bottom. You can see it moving like a glacier almost. You can't do anything in this kind of weather. You gotta go with the weather you work it with. That's it. So I'm gonna use this stuff. You could use any kind of stuff you want. It's a concrete cure and seal, and you put it over the wet concrete. It's about two hours later. It's gonna be. Uh, it's already dry. Look at how dry it got. You know what I mean? So I'm just gonna put a sealer on it. It works instead of putting plastic on it. It's going to get cold tonight. Not real cold where it's freezing, but it just, uh, it just helps it out instead of using plastic. So I put the sealer on it and uh, I blocked it off. The sealer kind of holds the water in it. You put it on depending like it's a couple hours later, it's windy, it's a little hot on top. So that's going to seal it up instead of using plastic. I started using it, new school thing, but I see success with it so I like it. Well I'm back here uh, two days later, I was on another job. So now I'm just going to take the forms off. I just unscrew them and use them again. I'm going to talk a little bit about that job. Uh, what I like to do is I like to put the marks on the ground and let the people look at it. And a day or two goes by and then they know that's what they want, I know that's what they want, and then I form it and I'm done. I like the wooden forms. I've been using wooden forms ever since I can remember. That's all the old timers used. And I like to use wooden stakes. If I'm pounding in a wooden stake and it, it hits a pipe, it usually bounces before it goes through. Second thing is I put everything on the burn pile. If I have steel forms, I gotta store them. They get rusty, the pins are missing, the dump truck drives over the top of them. So I just use wooden forms. If I need some more, I cut another piece of Luan and I'm done. Very simple. Screed key, I love screed key. I put it in, it's already set. I know where my marks are, I'm happy. That weather, uh, it was cold in the morning and then in the afternoon, it got hot. And the sun was shining on it and the wind was blowing. So the top of the concrete was getting hard and the bottom was mushy. So when you get in a situation like that, you just gotta keep going until you get it, and then you're done. Concrete finishing isn't black and white. All the weather conditions make all the difference in the world. Every, every concrete job is a little different. Concrete sealer, I started using it. I don't know if I'd use it on a real, real hot day, but I started using it, I like it, and 
the forms when I'm done with them, what's ever bad, I burn it, throw it in a garbage can, and I'm done. So I don't have to store anything, and that's it. So every time I do these jobs, no matter whether they're small or big, you see something a little different, I like to turn you on to it. So thanks for watching the videos. I'm Mike Haddock, and that's it for this video.